A couple announced to a group of people present at their house that they were expecting their first child. Everyone was happy but one man in the group said, Oh, I have checked your horoscope with my astrologer and according to him there is no chance until the next year. The couple was obviously stressed out during all months of the pregnancy thinking what if the astrologer was right? Will they produce some healthy kids without checking with any astrologer? There are millions of people like the man in the scene who are satisfying their curiosities and spreading ignorance. I wonder how can anyone predict the sperm count or the suitable conditions of the womb or the free time that the couple was going to find to make babies. How can the faraway planets have a role to play in any of this? It is quite pompous of humans to think that the planets are aware of our individual existence and have nothing better to do in their lives than to affect our futures. Many people refer to astrology as science. It is not science. It is an art. It is an art of selling dreams. Every single person needs an emotional support and the astrologer takes advantage of it. Unfortunately, astrology is more popular in India than astronomy. Every single thing that people do is checked with an astrologer, be it business plans, marriage plans or childbirth. Astrology makes us emotionally and intellectually handicapped. A few years ago, a lady on the road asked me to give her money. When I denied, she said, my goddess will curse you, bad things will happen to you. I found it ironical. If there was a goddess blessing and cursing people, and if this lady had control over that goddess, why was she herself begging on the road? I left the scene, but from a distance I could see many people giving her money. Reason? Simple. Fear of unknown. Every single person is afraid of the unknown be it entering a dark room or our futures or the reason of our existence. And through our fears, demons are born. They are nothing but superstitions. There is a movie called Little Boy. In the movie, someone tells the little boy that he has power to move things. Then this little boy tries to move everything all the time. There is an earthquake at the same time that the boy is trying to move land. It's just a game of probability. And then everyone starts calling him a miracle. This is how superstitions are spread. There are many such miracle people or babas or whatever you want to call them in India with millions of followers. People in India still believe in things like Maharas or black magic and it has nothing to do with how much educated they are. I wasn't born with any superstitions. I don't think any one of us is, but the world makes sure that we learn them. Carl Sagan's book, The Demon Haunted World, helped me get rid of my superstitions and it feels quite liberated to live without any. I wish every single person in the world read it. Cosmos Cosmos is a thoroughly enthralling read that takes you on a breathtaking journey from the inception of the universe to futures that may never be and allows us to ponder what it truly means to be human and what our place, our purpose is in the vast expanse of this cosmos in which we float like a moat of dust in the morning sky. I also highly recommend a TV show called Cosmos by Neil deGrasse Tyson. It is available on Netflix Instant Watch. Pale blue dot. Look at that dot. That is home. That is us. Our posturings, our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. Reading this book was a most humbling and character building experience for me. These are my recommendations of Carl Sagan's books. I hope you like them.